Okay, we're going to adjust the valves on the top end here after installing the rocker arm. So I'm just going to bar this thing over till I get it to bottom dead center at the split on the case. And this is where the timing points get set on this particular engine. So we've got it set there now at bottom dead center. You can see that right in here. And it aligns with the split in the case on a VW engine. So now I'm just going to move back over here to the rocker arm assembly and we'll cycle this thing down so we can see what's going on. And on this particular engine, because I'm running chromoly uh, push rods and a hardened uh, rocker arm on this particular style, um, I've reduced the clearance down to 4 thou. Um, now, on a stock beetle it's about six thou and that's because they use aluminum push rods and the the heads expand the cast cylinders expand at a different rate so there's a lot more clearances uh, that's provided in that particular engine at six thou to keep it uh, for low maintenance um, on a performance engine a lot of times you can adjust them down. A 1915 that I built that has um, all uh, chromoly uh, rocker arms, push rods, uh, uh, cam followers, good cam and everything. We run that one at 2,000 of clearance. And that's a recommendation right from SCAT with uh, all the engine performance parts. So on this one here, I'm just checking that I have clearance. You can hear that I have clearance. I had these shafts off to reseal my push rod tubes, but anytime you take apart a rocker arm assembly, you should put it back together and recheck the clearances just to make sure. So I'm at 4 thou on my feeler gauge, feeler strip, and I'm just going to slide it down in there. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on that, and it should always be done with oil because the engine does run wet. So if you're doing a dry adjustment, it, it could be a lot tighter than a wet adjustment. So we've got 4 thou there. I'm happy with that one. And the exhaust seems to be pretty good too. I think I'm going to back it out just a little bit so it's a loose 4. Uh, just so I'm a little more comfortable with that valve heating up and stretching. Now one thing a lot of technicians do, or guys that are doing it themselves, they leave the feeler strip in there and they tighten it down well unfortunately that wrecks the feeler strip so the recommendation is to hold it with the screwdriver lock it down with your wrench or ratchet and then you go back and you check your setting again after you've tightened it up so then you can tighten it to the torque spec and go from there. So I've tightened these by hand and I will drop a torque wrench on them just before I put the rocker cover back on. So it's a good idea to go back and check every single one of them so I can go back and I can start rotating the engine around to do the next one in cycle which will be number four.